At each school board meeting, staff members make presentations that highlight academic programs in the York County School Division. In March 2009, Dr. Kendra Crump, along with Christy Pika, spoke to the board about the Queens Lake Middle School Spotlight on Math. We're excited this evening to share with you some math initiatives that are happening in the middle schools. As you know, middle school years are primarily when students here at York County are exposed to abstract math concepts. To help support their middle school experiences, we would like to share with you this evening some of the ways our teachers keep students engaged and continue to keep instruction vigorous. Without further ado, I'd like to give you a sneak peek into what is happening in Queens Lake Middle School's math classes. To begin our Spotlight on Math, we would like to bring three initiatives center stage. Our vocabulary contest, Math Lab, and Math Buddies. Our first initiative to Spotlight is the Mathematics Vocabulary Contest. This contest allowed our students to demonstrate their knowledge of mathematics vocabulary in a unique and fun way. Students were able to take pride in their work and share their knowledge with their friends. It was amazing how different the feeling was in the hallway with each locker decorated by an educational poster. The posters were judged by classroom teachers, administrators, and the mathematics curriculum specialist. A winning poster was selected for each grade level and received a ticket to Bush Gardens good through 2009. Thank you PTA. Our second poster contest will be started in the spring to renew the student's interest prior to SOL testing, and the winner will receive two movie passes. What I liked most about the vocabulary contest was seeing all my other friends' posters and of course getting the Bush Gardens ticket. What I learned in the math contest, I learned a new word and how to express it in a picture. For our second act, we would like to recognize our math lab initiative. So you're going to use the triangle twice. Our teachers have had the opportunity to expose their students to a style of learning which their generation is accustomed to at least once a week by allowing them to learn math in an interactive format online. Well, I like how we can work on the computer and there are different things we can do. Like if we need help, we can just click on a button and we can have a calculator right there on the computer if we need it. I like the different websites because we have different activities that we can do and they also have just different varieties of programs. For our final act, we would like you to experience firsthand what our math students do about three times a week. Focus on area first. Math Buddies is a program developed to allow students to use manipulatives in conjunction with their state standards of learning. Here's the question that lots of people had. This program was especially developed for York County Schools students in grade six because of the success that it brought in Accomack County. Our students also benefit from an extra pair of hands provided by a teacher during their school improvement period. What we are going to do at this time is to share with you a hands-on activity. Good evening, York County School Board members. I'm Christy Pika from Queens Lake, the Math Department Chair. Please welcome your math buddies for this evening. <laughs> Hope y'all brushed up on your math skills this evening, board members. <laughs> Pressure's on. Each student is bringing you an unknown shape in a brown paper bag. I would like each of you to close your eyes 
and place your hand in the bag. I'm now going to ask you a few questions about the shape that you are feeling. Please tell your buddy if the shape has edges. <laughs> Very good. Please tell your buddy if the shape has corners. Do you believe that you could roll the shape? Yes. Yes. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe that you could roll the shape? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and does the shape have flat surfaces? No. no. At this time, I would like you to take a guess as to what shape is in your bag. Round. Sphere. Sphere. Did I pass? Those are all very good answers. It is a sphere. Thank you. Now, your math buddy is going to sort his or her shapes according to a mystery rule. I would like you to analyze their sorting and try and figure out why they are sorting the shapes the way they are. Please tell your buddy why you think the shapes are in different groups. There are many correct answers. I think Dr. James taught me some of this in high school. <laughs> the students were instructed to give you two groups. One of the groups the shapes had vertices or points, and the other group did not. When this activity is performed in the classroom, each student takes turns making up the rules. The objective of this activity is to help students analyze and compare attributes of three-dimensional geometric shapes. Myself, Dr. Crump, and Queens Lake would like to thank each of our students and the school board members for participating in our presentation tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess um, one thing I was going to share is I just wanted to share how much um, I enjoyed participating in the Math Buddies activity. Um, I've had the opportunity to see Math Buddies in action in classrooms, and one of the things uh, that it allows teachers and students to do is truly to try to solve the problems. I was nervous when the shapes were getting shaped, were being um, placed out there because I was like, okay, is, it, is this um, color code related? So I was like, okay, red, red, yellow, blue, uh, red, you know, and then I got lost. And so, but I realized that that's exactly the sort of reasoning that I'd seen modeled in classroom where students had the opportunity to think and, and model the different problem solving strategies. And so my unsuccessful strategy at first was color color related until I, um, until I was able to figure out eventually the pattern that was being reflected. So it was a good way for me to connect this evening what I'd observed in classrooms, and that's the mathematical reasoning. So thank you. Thank you. Y'all did an thank excellent job. Nice. And this is something that's happening in all four of our middle schools, I yes. assume, on a regular basis. Differentiating instruction and, and everything else. I figured if I didn't do well, I was going to blame Dr. James for that. <laughs> um, so, but I think I passed. So I'm okay. <laughs> Any other comments by board members? No, very enjoyable. It was uh, the interaction. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.